Hi everyone, so before sharing this video with you, I want to let you guys know that we can all make a really big difference, not just in the way that we save money on food, but also in reducing the environmental damage caused by food wastage. If we all stepped up and did our bit, we could potentially save 4.4 million tons of carbon dioxide every single year. Now that is the equivalent of taking 25% of the cars off the road. I also want to let you know that this video is a collaboration and is sponsored by Marley Spoon, which is also a fantastic way of reducing and even eliminating food wastage and of course a great way of saving money. So I really hope you enjoy this video. As you guys know, I am a mad minimalist lover. Since introducing minimalism into my life, I have so much more energy, so much more time, a much greater and clearer and cleaner sense of vision and purpose and passion in my life. And it has also saved me a lot of money. There is something really powerful about removing the excess and wastage in your life. Now, on the note of wastage, one of my pet peeves is wastage on food. Apparently, one third of all food produced around the world is wasted. And that works out to be $940 billion worth of food wasted every single year. Now, if we all think about it, $940 billion each year, if that was spare money, think what we could do with the education system around the world. Think what we could do with the healthcare system. Think what we could do to the environment, the improvements we could make. This is a really serious amount of money to be wasting. And also, we've got to think about the environment. Every time food is wasted, it ends up in landfill and produces methane gases, which significantly contributes towards the global warming crisis. And even from a community perspective, food wastage is incredibly disrespectful to human effort. If you think about this apple, Someone has gone and planted a seed in the ground to grow an apple tree. They've taken care of that tree to make sure that it grows into a big strong tree, protecting it from the elements and from pests. Over time, with a lot of care, this tree has grown to produce this apple. So another person has then come along and picked this apple and taken good care, making sure that it stays as fresh as long as possible. It has been cleaned and someone has also transported it. Then it has arrived at its destination and it has been placed in a supermarket ready for you. Now, if you think about it, there have been a lot of people involved in getting this beautiful apple in its fresh format to you. So when we let this sit and rot and go off and essentially become wastage, it's incredibly disrespectful to the human effort involved. Now, it doesn't have to be that way and there are some really simple things that we can all do together that will dramatically reduce our food wastage. So this video, I've got some fantastic tips which I'm really excited about sharing with you. Tip number one is to plan your meals. I've spoken about this in lots of videos, but it is a fantastic way of not only reducing the amount of food you waste, but saving a lot of money. The key is to do this properly. What I recommend is when you plan your meals for the week ahead, always cross-reference it against your diary. Have a look at what your responsibilities and activities are for the week. Do you have friends coming over? Are you going out for dinner that night? Are there going to be nights where you're going to be working back late and you need something really quick and easy and healthy to go from the fridge or freezer? Or are you on a particular diet? You need to think about these things and plan your meals accordingly. Then you cross-reference it against your pantry, your fridge, and your freezer. That way you know exactly what you already have and it stops you doubling up and wasting food and money on buying extra products that you simply don't need. Now when you go to that supermarket, make sure you stick to your list or buy those ingredients online so that you minimize all temptation. You will find that this not only helps save you money, reduce food wastage, but it can encourage you to eat healthier. Tip number two is to invest in a pre-portioned dinner service. Now I've been using Marley Spoon for, gosh, I think a year and a half now. And what I love the most actually about this is not just the food wastage being completely minimized, but it saves me so much time, so much energy and so much money. This box and everything about this is environmentally friendly. Everything is recyclable and reusable. It arrives delivered for free every week to my house. And I actually have six meals in here. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna be eating for dinner this week. Inside the box comes all the recipes, explaining very easily how to make these meals. And just to give you an example of how delicious these meals are, I'm having chili beef um, probably tomorrow night. Tonight I'm gonna to have salmon and asparagus. 
and on the, another night this week I'm gonna have spicy tofu Sichuan noodles and the food here is absolutely fantastic the flavors are incredible um, I never have any complaints or whinging and whining from Rocco when I serve Marley Spoon and what as I said it saves me so much time and energy is I don't need to drive to the supermarket try and battle parking walking around with a shopping trolley with a child you know eyeing off all these treats as we walk down the aisles and then mindlessly wondering what am I going to cook for dinner it completely eliminates all that stress and all those decisions that need to be made and I don't have to worry about something I've forgotten and a key ingredient that I've forgotten to get whilst at the supermarket. Everything I need is in this box. It is absolutely brilliant. And it's also, at the end of the day, when I'm really tired, my brain doesn't really work that well. The instructions are really easy to follow. Now, for example, inside one of these, and as I said, paper recycling bag, everything that I need to make that meal for tonight, and the portion sizes are perfect. And everything is also really healthy, so you never feel like you've just loaded up on junk food or unhealthy food. Everything is absolutely delicious and you feel good after your meal, which is always a good sign that it's healthy. So as you can see, the exact portion of what I need, one lemon, one zucchini, one onion, even the bay leaves. I just need two bay leaves. How many times do we go to the supermarket and buy a whole bunch of herbs when we only needed a couple of leaves or a couple of sprigs? Complete, utter wastage. It drives me nuts. Don't need to worry about that at all. And also the right amount of rice so I can make a delicious meal and have absolutely no wastage whatsoever. Now, this is also incredibly economical. I don't understand why all families don't do this, to be honest. It works out to be about, well, I get three meals, which are two servings per meal, so six meals a week I get out of this and it's about just under $12 per serving which is incredibly economical and you can get family packs where the price comes down but you know if you think about also the environmental impact of driving to the supermarket your time um, also the fact is it can be healthier meals that you're serving for your family so you're less likely to get sick you're going to potentially lose a bit of weight and have more energy this is such incredible great value so I highly recommend looking for your local services that provide this and Marley Spoon is my absolute favorite and I can tell you I've tried a few this is the best tip number three and I'm gonna sound like my mother because she used to always say this and eat up the bits I come from a family where we really respected money and we really respected the environment my dad imprinted that to me from a very very young age and when there were little bits of food left over from dinner um, that weren't served up, where they'd be put on a plate, wrapped up in glad wrap and put into the fridge. And at the end of the week, when there were lots of little bits of food left over, my mother would make a meal with it. Now, this is a really great way of serving up delicious, healthy meal that's really quite interesting. And you can make salads with a mixture of different leftover foods. You can make sandwiches. And the going craze now, right now is poke bowls, where you take one beautiful bowl, put a little bit of salmon, a little bit of avocado, a bit of rice, some chopped up vegetables, some lettuce leaves, and it's really interesting, really colorful, and really healthy. So eat up the bits, don't throw anything out. Tip number four is to invest in food saving tools, equipment, and appliances. Simple things like water bottles. Often we think we're hungry, really we're actually just dehydrated and thirsty and all we really need is a glass of water. So I always recommend that Rocco carries around a water bottle with him and I carry around one myself. I have one in my car, one at my desk at work and often one on my bedside table. City tap water free and it means that we stay hydrated and we're reducing our impact on the environment. And then there's a whole other assortment of really clever and really innovative food wastage tools, things like these bubble wrap covers. I've got an avocado sitting inside here, goes into the fridge, means that nothing can leak out of this and it stays fresher for so much longer. Also, these food top huggers, you can put a can of this on over a can of dog food. You can also put a tomato in here or half a lemon, anything really can go on there. This will keep food fresh longer and also stops the odors in your fridge. And of course, it goes without saying, investing in some good quality Tupperware lunch boxes. Things like these ones where you can keep food hot or cold for up to four hours. So a great way of saving money if you want to take lunch to work or you want to take dinner to work if you're working back late. And Rocco absolutely loves these lunch box, um, which are called Yum Boxes. And they're really durable because he's dropped this about 50 times. Um, it drove me nuts. And it's, they're really sweet. They actually give you ideas and inspiration as to how to break up the food. 
and ideas for vegetables, yogurt, fruit, grains, dairy, pasta. It's really sweet. And they come a whole range of different sizes and colors. So I highly recommend investing in these things. And my other last favorite tip, a garlic press. You can store all your fresh peeled garlic nicely in this container and you just grab it and use it when you want to instead of it sitting out on the bench drying up and going old and crusty. So a little bit of investment in these key appliances around the home, so worthwhile. And of course I am obsessed with this, it's my um, coffee cup, it's metal. So it keeps my coffee hot for up to two hours. So no more wasting of paper cups anymore in this house. The fifth tip is to get baking. How many times have we seen those bananas as they go through the week getting browner and browner and we end up throwing them away? It doesn't actually need to be that way. We can use those bananas and make delicious banana bread. And it also means you can use up that milk, the butter, eggs, any other food that's also starting to get close to its expiry date. Get creative in the kitchen and get baking. Tip number six is to use your freezer space. Did you know that the more food you have inside your freezer, the less energy that you use? When we put food into our freezer, it's kind of like putting it into a time capsule. We freeze it in its current condition so it holds all its nutritional value. And then of course reduces food wastage. And then tip number seven, which is my final tip, and that is to look at food rescue services such as Oz Harvest. Now Oz Harvest go and rescue perfectly healthy, nutritious food that's going to go to waste. And then they distribute to charities around Australia. And they even have now an Oz Harvest supermarket where you can not only get food, but you can also donate food. They have a give what you can, take what you need philosophy, which is another great way of acting as a community to reduce food wastage. Now, if anyone watching this video has any other great ideas as to how to reduce food wastage and how to save money on food, please put them in the comments box below. And for any busy family out there or busy working professionals that are time poor that hate food wastage and like saving money, I highly recommend giving Marley Spoon a try. You will not regret it. You'll find that you're eating healthier, you're inspired to get cooking, and you save so much time and energy. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And I always love hearing your video requests, so if you've got a video or a suggestion for me, again, please put it in the comments box below. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and there have been some really helpful tips for you. I better go because I've got some waste-free cooking to do. Ciao for now.